All right, here we go. Here we go. Another day in the life of the fit and healthy with your host, James A. Jemison. Yep, so today I'm going to be working on back, mostly lats, all that there. You know, uh, same story, different day. Just moving forward, maintaining, and hopefully uh, building uh, more muscle. But the main thing is uh, just to maintain the health and having fun. So, again, I want to encourage you guys to find a, a workout program that uh, works for you. Uh, something you're going to enjoy doing uh, for a long time. Well, you don't have to do the same thing for a long time. You can switch up um, anytime you want, any way you want. Um, but it's important to find a particular style of exercise that you you, you know you relatively enjoy. It's still going to be challenging. It should be challenging. If it's very easy, then you may not get the results. Uh, that you want. Uh, some people, they may have, you know, they may not have a choice but to start out walking because that's that's the speed that they're on. You know, they might have uh, so much weight on them that it's hard for them to move fast. It may be hard for them to uh, bend and, and move in certain positions depending on the, the workout program. And I understand that, you know, you have to start somewhere, but you want to um, increase the intensity um, as soon as you can uh, not become comfortable with just walking uh, some people would do that and it satisfies their conscience more than meeting their fitness goals so they walk every day on their lunch break or in the mornings before work or maybe they come home and they walk around the neighborhood maybe 20-30 minutes and any form of movement is going to burn calories but it's so small and then if your diet is not right you can ruin that 30 minute workout from one meal because say you burn say a hundred calories for from just walking but then you ate three four hundred calories in your meal afterwards you know it's not going to work and so you can be going at that thing week after week, month after month, and barely losing weight, and trying to figure out, okay, what's going on? I'm walking every day, you know, I'm eating relatively healthy, and you gotta, you're gonna have to eventually increase the intensity. There should be uh, a level of challenge uh, to your workouts, because again, exercise is def defined by physical exertion. So if you are not physically exerting yourself beyond the norm, you're not gonna, you're not exercising. So I just want to encourage you guys to really, uh, you know, amp up your exercise to make sure you're burning enough calories, and to make sure you're eating right. Uh, you're gonna, you're gonna get results. Uh, again, I have my one month challenge. Uh, I'll try to remember to post it with this video. Um, I haven't done so in the past couple of posts, so I'm gonna post it again. And um, Hey, let's do it. And then let me know. No one's let me know. Let me know what you guys are doing. Post the comments. Let me know. Hey, James, you know, I do aerobics. Hey, James, I do uh, Pilates. You know, let me know what you guys are doing. I really want to know um, so I can keep encouraging you. You can encourage me and you can encourage other people who will see your comments and know, wow, more and more people are getting into this exercise thing. And, you know, and I want people to know this is not a summer thing. This is a lifestyle thing, so don't just focus on, oh, I got to get in shape for the summer or whatever. No, it's a lifestyle. So, let me get started. It's one of my favorite workouts. So, <sighs> still dealing with that thing I was talking about Monday. Uh, so, please keep me in prayer, keep my family in prayer. Yeah, so that's that's still the challenge, and it's uh, I don't know. Ah, <laughs> uh, ah, uh, there we go.
I tell you, I don't know what it is about Central AC. It's almost like clockwork. It's like they have this built-in expiration for the compressor. And so I noticed today that it was a little warmer upstairs than normal. Checked the vents and it's blowing out regular air, not real cold. Go out back, silence. So the compressor is not working. So that means only just regular air is being circulated throughout the house. So that's perfect. The beginning of August, uh, that's the last thing you want is your central AC to go out. So I don't know. <laughs> it's amazing. So hey, please keep us in prayer. But I got this portable air conditioning unit I bought as a backup. So I'll be able to put that in the kitchen. It has this big hose that you connect to a plate and you put it in the base of the window to vent out the heat. And it does pretty good. It keeps that first floor pretty comfortable. Uh, so I'll probably plug that up uh, later on today. And um, we we'll just have to spend less time upstairs until we can get it fixed. But anyway, that's the deal. Life goes on.
wanted to turn these lights off, but I didn't know how it was going to affect the video. I'm going to see. So, yeah. You can still see it's, it's not as good, right? Kind of dark. But once I finish my work, I can turn them off. That'll help with the heat. Uh, not too bad. I'm in the basement. Yeah. So, um, that's why I love basements, the underground. Like, it's, it's weird, the, the elevation for this place. Like, the front of the house, the elevation comes right up under the window, but in the back, we have a door where I can just walk right out into the yard. So half the townhouse is under, you know, that half is <laughs> kind of under grade. And then this one is not, it's over grade. So it was kind of weird uh, to how they did the elevation different. But I love basements that are for the most part underground because they're going to be cooler versus houses that just sit right on top of the ground, you know, above elevation, above grade. Um, Don't like those. Ah. Uh. Oh, here we go, here we go. Still tough, it's my favorite workout, but it's still tough. And one of the beauties about bodybuilding or weight training, something gets too easy, get a little too comfortable, just increase the weight and boom. You add in that stress back to those muscles and you're stimulating them and they keep that growth going forward. So that's why I love bodybuilding. Whereas aerobics and other types of stuff, you know, eventually your body will get used to those types of workouts. If it's not, um, if there's no uh, resistance, you know, you got resistance training. And so there's an aspect of that resistance that helps your body uh, get stronger. But you can get to a point where you get so used to that uh, rhythm of that particular style of workout that uh, 
you can plateau and even with bodybuilding you can plateau when you're not getting the gains like you used to or you're not burning the fat like you used to and so what I like about weight training if I ever get to that point I can always increase my weight to make it challenging again and um, I can switch up the types of workout I do you know you know I may work the same muscle group but I'm switching the types of movements that too will help my body from from plateauing and I can keep moving forward and so you're gonna have to adjust your your workouts um, as time go on uh, especially as you make it a lifestyle uh, you it's gonna be hard to do the exact same thing every day every week every month for years um, and still get the same results you're gonna to have to make some adjustments as you move along and um, so some of you may have experienced that you've been doing this stuff like six eight months or whatever and you get to a point where hey I'm not losing the weight like I used to I'm doing the same workout I'm eating the same stuff I'm not getting the same result so you might have to switch up your workouts and um, I believe you'll you'll get better results but again I, I'm not an expert because I'm an expert verify it uh.
still waiting on this arm to get better. It's been real slow. I should have been icing it. I, I need to ice it. I think that'll help. I keep forgetting. Huh.
Alright guys, I'm almost out of time. Till next time. Do what you gotta do to make it happen. I'm here for you. God bless you. And I'll see you next time.